New this morning, BP is delaying its latest attempt to shut down the blown out oil well in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's check out a live underwater camera being provided by BP, which shows the scene on the Gulf floor. Unattractive as it may be. BP now says it will likely be at least Tuesday before engineers can shoot heavy mud into that well that's spewing the oil. Meantime, thick globs of oil are washing ashore in Grand Isle, Louisiana, and that's prompting officials to close down the public beach there. Joining me live from Houston via Skype is oil and gas expert Bob Kavnar. Bob, a good morning to you. Glad you're here. Good morning, Alex. Happy to be here. Well, I'll tell you, I guess the question is look, it has been more than a month since this oil rig exploded. We have another delay. I know they were looking ahead to Sunday to try this this topping of the mud and cement mixture there. Right. You know, do I have to say this? We can put a man on the moon and we can't plug up an oil leak? That, that's that's exactly right, uh, Alex. It, I, I think a lot of us in the industry are very frustrated right now at, at the length of time it's taking BP to be prepared for this. You know, the the thing that that, that I've focused on is that this has been the solution from day one. As soon as they saw the riser lying on the ocean floor and the, the leak spewing from the end, the only solution to getting this well shut down, short of a relief well that would take a couple of months, is the top kill. And I, I've understood uh, from people I've talked to that the, the manifold to do that top kill has been set on the seafloor next to the blowout preventer for about two weeks now. Okay, then can you offer a rational explanation why this wasn't attempted earlier? I, I think the reason is that the, the, this is a complex operation, but very urgent at the same time. I think the, the drill pipe that's stuck inside the blowout preventer, as well as the riser and the bent riser on top, has really uh, complicated matters. I do think, though, that there's a lot of, of back and forth inside of BP and the Minerals Management Service trying to decide the, the right technique here. Yeah. Uh, they do, they do kind of have just one shot, and they want to get it right. So, so then, it, it, based on what you're saying, that they just have one shot and they want to get it right, that sort of changes the question I was going to ask you, which was going to be, doesn't it feel to you like an all-out effort should have been done from the beginning? I mean, what's this one-shot mentality? Is that just about the topping off? I, well, the, I, I, I agree with you. This should be 24/7, and if it's not, you know, there should be somebody really pushing them hard. The the challenge here is is if they there's a there's a two-step process they can they can go through here. One is what what they've been calling the junk shot or pumping bridging mm -hmm. material into the BOP, the blowout preventer, and then following it with mud or just overcoming the well with heavy mud. And uh, I think the, the challenge has been here that the, the, the junk shot could plug the lines that are pumping, that would pump into the side of the blowout preventer. And I think that's been the back and forth. Also, I've heard that there's been lots and lots of discussion about removing the riser from the top of the blowout preventer, either before or after the operation. Because it, once they even get the, the well plugged, they've still got to get a valve or a, a blowout preventer on top of the failed blowout preventer to make sure it stays shut in. Okay. Bob Kavanaugh, very much appreciate your expertise. Thanks. Happy to help. Okay.